Radio Pump this morning, but we have had some problems. So today I thought I'd go for a bit of a flattish session and bring you along. Thought as a bit of a change, I would take you guys along with me for like a testing session. Got a couple of things that I am playing around with. Technically it's not the review, but we are looking at this uh, Sustain uh, by Shimano with the T-curve premium on there. It's a 7.2 length rod and the other one i'm playing with is a samurai infinite uh, which is awesome for cranking you can see i've got a little in feet roll and crank on there at the moment we're on the boat today hasn't started so well it hasn't started well because we had the tripod set up with the slr and i was holding it just got distracted for a moment i'd let it go and the slr is now in the drink Probably about $4,000 worth of gear in the drink, unfortunately. <sighs> it is fishing, that's what it is. Yeah, costly morning. Anyway, we're moving to positivity. So uh, we're gonna go for flatty hunting. I'm gonna throw some plackies on the edges. From here, we are going to move a little. I wanna hit the top plate. Actually, I wanna hit a, a couple of spots first and uh, we'll see where how we go. Let's go. Another hit. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. Now we're on three. I oh know we're on four pounds, so we should be fine here. It's my very last double clutch 48 right here, and uh, and we do not want it. This fish to take that. Oh, good. It's hooked on the outside. Water's a little bit dirty, isn't it? So, perfect. But it's going back. Now, I've got to double check this leader. And lucky I did. Because it is frayed. One thing you got to check with these flathead is those teeth and that, that head shake action means that you know, it frays your line. So, man, whenever I catch a flathead like that, even a small one really, because of the way that their head moves and they, they head shake, I, I'm always uh, always a big fan of checking your leader or your line afterward. Make sure that uh, you haven't you haven't got any major fractures in the line. Tell you what though, flathead do taste nice. Not my not my preference for taking home. I mean, it's a good fish, right? I like I, I like eating flathead, but. I think my favorite fish has got to be, to take home, has got to be whiting. If I can find like a nice sand whiting or something or other, it's going straight in the live well. Straight for the freezer or straight home to eat. Generally that night if I can, if the wife's got nothing planned. Right, uh, we have stopped at eight foot bank. First thing I'm gonna do is throw this minnow around. I've seen a little bit of bait fish minnow kind of stuff going on. Uh, so I got it on a 116, 116 jig head. Uh, look there, deploy that garment. Yep, 1.2, so in 1.8 meters of water. That's what she looks like. Looks like we have weed everywhere. Yeah, I've heard that was covered in weed. So we are just gonna roll this over the top. Oh, that was a hit. Cast out that way, cast out this way. As you can see, it's overcast day today. We've got a bit of wind around, which is which is nice, right? Like, it's a good amount. Perfect for cranking, actually. Shallow cranking, come to think of it. Now there's there's weed here, but I can't see it. I can see it on my on my live scope down here. All these little dots and whatnot, so impurities, if that makes sense. And I can feel it in the in the plastic. 
so that's going to give me two options i'm already thinking so instead of burning this thing across the top or ripping it through the weed um if i don't get anything on this cast two things are going to happen the first one the bent minnow is going to come out for about three casts maybe four and if nothing on that then a shallow roll and crank um we're not we're not pulled down we're just drifting um with the drifting with the wind at the moment now it does say 0.1 meters sorry uh, it does say one meter on the uh on the uh, on the what's that thing called on the sounder but it's actually a little bit deeper than that's one meter from the bottom of my transducer it's probably another half foot maybe two foot so it's probably a meter and a half and we'll see a couple of pauses it's funny the only time i've really been uh, successful with top water and blacks here at uh, the place I am has really been when they're only real aggressive like a, when you're fishing it aggressive and then you just pause it and stop a little bit of clean on the top so we're going to go for a little bit of an aggressive uh, retrieve here just keep it on the top there it is just walking across the top of the water I'm going to stop it there it is pretty dirty in here actually Pretty cool having the ghost, sorry, the, uh, the, the ghost transform to the Garmin Force just as Lorentz change and update the ghost to give us a 360 capability. It would have been nice. I probably just missed out on that by like a month. But it's all good. I'm kind of happy with the, the Force so far. I think the motor is a little bit better. I like the steering and the motor and whatnot. Uh, I don't like this design as much as the, the Lowrance. Um, aesthetically the Lowrance, I think it looks like just a little bit better. Um, but the foot pedal, uh, so, so Lowrance have got the foot pedal for sure. This Garmin Force has got the actual motor uh, in terms of noise and whatnot. It wins there. All right, I said three, let's go fourth cast. leave it there what have we got out for hard bodies we've got plastics on that side hard bodies this side so i got a double clutch 48 probably will end up in the weed so they've got a shallow jackal chubby and in, in feet rolling crank as well and this water is very dirty fish still need to eat but it is very dirty right done done moving across into jackal chubby territory let's go this one first brown sorry uh suji with the sorry yeah uh, it's like a pink eye pink eye suji you know call it i'm just gonna go for a slow crank on this bad boy oh that's straight into the weed didn't realize the weed was that shallow so if it's this shallow basically unfishable let's go this one here four lures Got 10 casts <laughs> that way first one two all right so this spot is done runs away Let's motor up i've woken up with a little bit of a blocked nose so we'll have to get covid tested or when i go back but spent the night in the spent the night in the car on the way here. Rocked up pretty late, and we're in 1.1 meters at the moment from the bottom. And we're in a bit of, I guess, ton and water here. The front of the system that I'm in is actually really dirty with some rain that, that we've had, but here uh, is not too bad. It's still that gorgeous clear tannin. So we're going to make our way just slowly in to, uh, to this edge here and probably just work along these flats um, here. Lots of weed in the, in the system uh, at the moment. It's not a huge amount of wind, just enough to break the surface, really. I'd like a little bit more, but whatever. Uh, it is all good, all gravy. So the T-curve that I've got is definitely feeling like a plastics rod 
I don't know if plastics are the way to go here. We've got a lot of weed coming up. So I'm thinking that I might actually, I might throw a bit of a vent, you know, across the top of these. There's a bit of a swirl. I'll throw that out there. I was on the water before and I heard someone say, as I was going past, I heard someone say, that's Byron T Hill. And the passenger went, what? I'm like, that's Byron T Hill, even louder. Got me thinking, it's, it's amazing how, how sound actually carries on the water. Certainly got me into trouble before, you know, just talking about stuff and then somebody's uh, popped their head up and had a look over at me. <laughs> God, what is he doing? Particularly when you're YouTube and people are like, I can hear him talking to himself. There's clearly no one else on the boat. How come he is talking to himself like a crazy person? Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, there's fish around. I can hear the prawns constantly being scattered. There we go. Yeah, definitely a... Probably a flatty, I'd say, yep. Second one of the day. Nice little guy. You know, sometimes we're on a different fish or whatever, or, you know, we concentrate a bit too much on brimbos, but I don't mind catching some flathead, flathead either. What I'm doing right now is that the, there's the, tried on the inside of those reed beds before, didn't really get much, so now I'm kind of just targeting the outside of the reeds. My live scope's picking them up every now and again. Look at them. See there? Definitely there. What's that? Yeah, really? Oh, Daddy got a fish. Daddy got a fish. He's been struggling all day. You guys are good luck. He's a flathead though. Daddy got a flathead. That's a third, the third flatty session for third flat flathead fish today. What's that? Uh, yeah, it will be. Uh, no, nah, it's got worms on it. No, nah, it's only, they're only little tiny worms, buddy. Love you, bye. There's definitely a school in front of us here. Another flathead. On the, uh, it's funny, on the live scope, I can see the schools moving around and the fish just holding there and then my lure goes past and they either disturbs them or, you know, a couple of them hunt. In that last case, I could see the flatty kind of uh, coming up and fighting as I would hooked it up. That's pretty cool. That's why I called it for a flatty so early. I've thrown the grub enough, the motor oil grub enough. Bloodworm. Okay, turn around. Funny, the way those fish are behaving, I don't think they know we're here. In fact, I'm almost certain they don't know. There we go. Another fifth flatty for the day. Nice little flatty session so far. All we're doing is hopping along the bottom. Nice little flatty session. I can tell you what, they're definitely on here at Cooter. Hello. Hey dude. How are we going? How's Gippy Lakes? Oh, it's just awesome, mate. <laughs> oh, that's so much sarcasm, isn't it? I can I can hear it. <laughs> I'm going to bounce and uh, keep plugging away, try and uh, move to a couple of different spots and see if I can create something, I think. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, dude. Thanks for the chat.
Yeah. See you, mate. You don't need a tire or anything? You good? Actually, why don't you just why don't you just get in and I'll yeah, just hold them. Thanks, mate. No, you're right. So, I've seen these guys up there. I'm assuming they're your mates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Jump in and then grab it. Yeah, then grab your board. <laughs> just abandon the board. No, I'll take it. You'll be able to hold that with your hand. We won't go too fast. Wind must have picked up on you. Yeah, You're alright. Happy to help. Alright, we're in gear. Where's your, where do you want to lift to? That jetty up there? Yeah, that's okay. That's sweet. Did all right, so a couple spots this morning have been slow for us, uh, which has been unfortunate. We've ended up with five flatty, which I think is pretty cool. Like, I, I like flatty, catching flatty and whatever. But um, we're gonna start moving quickly now. And, oops, that is way too much. That is a, sh that is a real shame. Christ, it's fine. Oh. Oh, 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 flatty right there. Oh, that was cool. That was so cool. <laughs> that flatty came up from the bottom to smash that. Let's get the surgery happening to get the walk uh, out of him. There we go. See you later. Rope just got hit. Let's um, let's try something else. <laughs> So back at home, uh, I've gotten changed and things are good. Basically, uh, the rest of the session, I am not gonna show you. And the reason I'm not gonna show you the rest of the session is because it was a brim searching session for uh, ABT round one at Malakuta that's at the end of this month. And today is the last day for the pre-fish band. So uh, out of the courtesy to the people that have put the time and effort in to pre-fish that, uh, I am not going to show you the footage for where I got brim on that day, which is why this is a flatty session video as opposed to the normal brim sessions that you do see on this channel. Now, uh, it has been all day and I do sound a little bit nasally still, uh, a little bit of a sore throat, so I'm going to go get a test tomorrow and uh, just ISO until I get those results back. Fingers crossed they're all good and this is just like a common cold, but we'll get a test anyway to make sure it is all good. Now, I know this video is a little bit different to the standard kind of 100% product reviews that we do, so if you did enjoy it or you did like it, let me know in the comments below that this is a kind of format, that fishing lifestyle that you guys are interested in watching. I know it was a little bit of fun for me to take you guys out and maybe in the future I might do a little bit more geary stuff on the water, but for me it was really just fun to get out and go fishing. Remember to hit those buttons down below if you want to support the channel and see it grow it really does help if not that's okay anyway but i hope you enjoyed the video stay safe i'll see you later this week